Actually, there's a couple really cool uh, sort of things we can talk about on this chart. First off, isn't this incredible? And again, this is the gift that the universe has given us, and that's this chaos theory. You know, there are some site members, guys like Bobo and Raf and stuff, who did lots of work on their own with it. I think to all intents and purposes, uh, especially with most of you guys, uh, this is a gift I was sort of given, and I've just freely tried to share it with all of you. Uh, fascinating how you can see this double bottom came in on the market this morning. Why did the market stop, like, literally right at that 2.618? I mean, you can't script this any better. That's crazy. If anything, what I would suggest to all of you, if you're going to use these foggy boggy levels for trading, and let's say you identified this uh, 2.618, and, you know, we'll even uh, put the numbers on here so you can see exactly what the numbers are. 39.49.50. I would, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would actually put your order at like say 49.25 or maybe even 49 even. There's 49.25, 49 even is there. The point being that, you know, here for instance, the high on the candle 49.50, but if you had your order at 49.50, you might not have been filled. You might, you know, keep in mind, there's probably other people that place their order at 49.50. You're only guaranteed a fill in the market if you can show your broker that the price actually traded 49.75. If you can, if your order is at 49.50 and you show them that it traded at 49.50 and you demand a fill, they say, yeah, go screw yourself. <laughs> Sorry, pal. You you were at the back of the bus, and by the time we got to your place on getting off the bus, the driver had had enough, and he turned the bus around, and he went the other direction. I mean, it's just the way it goes. So anyway, the point. So you know, if you are, if you're like, well, Brian, I wanted to learn something today. What's a, what's a little pointer that I can add to my journal? I think it's. If you're going to use these fog and bomb levels, put your order just slightly below it, and then that way you're pretty much guaranteed to fill. Uh, and then look at they did it again. The cut isn't this incredible? Now, how do you explain this? I don't, I don't know how you explain it. To be honest with you, all I know is that this is another edge. This is what you guys are here to learn. So, uh, nice double bottom. Whenever I'm hunting bots, I always like to look back and see that there's some sort of double bottom anchoring the trade. If I saw that this went straight down and straight up and then started to consolidate, then I'd be like, uh, I don't know. Uh, this also, too, good reference. This was European close. And so as a result, what we had was basically uh, – Econs came out, I guess, in a weird sort of way because they were so train wrecky that maybe the market's kind of feeling. And actually, this is a really good thing. If you've never heard this before, write it down. But they used to have an expression in the market what's good for Wall Street is usually bad for Main Street. And what's good for Main Street is usually bad for Wall Street. Very rarely what's good for Main Street is good for Wall Street, and what's bad for Main Street is bad for Wall Street. Usually they work in opposites. So I think here's a good example where, of course, everybody's thinking about the Fed raising interest rates, right? I mean, I think that's pretty consensus. And I think one of the reasons why the stock market's so weak, especially over the past six months, is this whole concept of, Rising cost of borrowing money, which, of course, eats into profit margins, which, of course, reduces corporate earnings, which, of course, it translates into lower stock prices. Uh, the point being that the news came out, beep, uglier than poop, blah, 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 and mysteriously, the stock market starts to rally. What the hell's going on? Why did that happen? Right? Good for Wall Street, bad for Main Street. Good, bad for Main Street, good for Wall Street. 
Then, um, big, nice big rally. And of course, heading into that European close, we would expect some sort of counter to whatever this move is, as this is a profit-taking event. And then also, too, this is a liquidity event because the Europeans, if you're a day trader and you're in Europe and you're trading on a European exchange, like you trade the DAX or the CAC or the you know what, what the FTSE or whatever right near a future strategy you got to be out of those positions by the end of the day anyway nice dead cap bounce off of the econs rally back up consolidated and then we, of course you know us in the day trading room we start to draw the bot levels but notice we never did get down to 33 here so right off the bat that's a warning sign brian are you the demonstrator of best practices? You said that your setup requires 33, but no more than 66. So are you going to take that trade? And I had to say, I'm sorry, it doesn't mean my model criteria. I'm going to have to pass. Then, you know, if I did want to bought this out, oh, by the way, three higher lows and three higher highs, we had one low and then it went straight up. This is actually a really cool battle here because you can see where the bot level is. And I was even telling the guys in the room, this is one of the reasons actually why I like the bot is that it just gives me a number. And sometimes, you know, especially with you see here, I mean, do you, this candle opened up and went beep, it went up here. Do you chase? If you want to trade the bot, just throw the order in at the level and you can see that over the next 10, 15, or actually this is just a one minute chart. Just over the next three minutes, boom, 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 you could have gotten your fill very comfortably but because it didn't set up three higher lows didn't meet my setup had to leave it alone i mean the irony of it all is market doesn't give a shit. is it an a b c d yeah and did it do the a b c d thing yeah and actually fascinating how uh you know i would what I, what i want you guys to learn is that this is not an accident this A, B, C, D level right here. This is actually where somebody specifically wanted to take the market. And remember, are you trading the stock market or are you trading a market of stocks? When I looked at this this morning and I saw this price action, what I said was, I bet there is a specific stock that is running and they actually have that objective in mind. Thank you.